director, one of the direct, cost director of KWS with the county commissioner. We flew there with a helicopter for over two hours to check for charcoal burning. You could notice the charcoal where people are burning, but because of the, the, the canopy, canopy of the forest, you cannot really detect if people very easily. Then, from where you sit, as the governor, as the person in charge of Kilifi County in the devolved unit, would you recommend for the reshuffle of uh, top security organs who are serving currently in your county? In view of what has happened, I think the gov national government should to look into the security apparatus in Kilifi. Some of them are quite new, you might blame them for nothing. Probably they need to look who was there from 2019. Probably to check those people who have been in 2019. There are people who are probably have overstayed in the area. Probably the government needs to move in and uh, change these people. Uh, I know the county commander is quite new. Uh, there are quite few officers who are quite new. The county commissioner is hardly two weeks. So to also apportion blame to them, I think it would be unfair. Uh, I think we need to check the people who are probably overstayed uh, from the security in their county. At the center of all this raging debate is one man by the name Paul Mackenzie. And um, earlier on, Interior Cabinet Secretary, for, uh, that is Kithure Kindiki, uh, while addressing uh, the media in uh, Shakahola when he visited that place, he did recommend that uh, the prosecuting and also the investigating bodies to build up a case against Paul Mackenzie that uh, he might be charged with possible counts of terrorism and also genocide. Uh, what is your take on this? I don't know. I don't want also people to call it terrorism because once you call it terrorism and that this thing have now catched the, the world um, attention, probably might paint Kilifi as a, a, a terrorist zone, which will not be very fair for tourism, especially for us who rely on tourism. Kilifi relies on tourism and uh, Kilifi is safe, apart from this incident of Mackenzie. So I would say they build a case on uh, very strong grounds to make sure that uh, this guy doesn't go scot-free.